So I'm here at the mall. The mall! Which is basically like the worst place in the world for plus size women generally. So I just went to Charlotte Ruse and I had every intention of doing an in the dressing room try on video and I was really excited about it and I got myself all amped up to like try all the stuff I saw online on and then I got to the store and none of that stuff was actually in the store and what was in the store was bug. Like seriously gross gusting as eight year old me would say. And it just made me think about why, why put the crappy stuff in the store and the pretty stuff online. In my mind, it would be the reverse, right? You put the stuff that's unique and special in the store. Now I'm gonna check out Dollars and see if I can save the day and do something there. So they have a plus section. It's on the second floor. So that's where I'm headed now. You guys should be really proud of me. I almost took an amazing detour in the bag section. I need them. Oh my God. Yes, I do. Oh my God. I do. Oh my God. <laughs> I have needs. They just exceed my pocketbook. If these are the uh, normal size options, we're screwed. I'm sorry I took an arm off your mannequin. Well, you know, she's just always giving people a hand. <laughs> so I got this dress. It's um, from a band called Chelsea at Theodore. It's got a really nice dip dye. I'm a little annoyed, so I'm looking just at the seaming and everything. You can see that there's already some wear right there so on the seams and then up here there's some stragglers up the seams here too and the lines are a little off so it's a little frustrating because the dress itself when full priced is a hundred dollars so this feels <laughs> really overpriced for a hundred dollar dress but knowing that retail stores like this tend to do discounts in order to like incentivize you to buy that's probably what's going on here um, I did like just the style of it, and the fabric feels really soft. Now, it's actually tensile, which I actually think is an expensive fabric. So I've just noticed a positive point. It does have pockets on it, so I'll be checking that out, though. Someone's obviously tried this on before, and you can see that there's already some damage to the pocket, which doesn't bode well for the garment overall. <laughs> I could do that for, like, I could probably do that for an hour. This is from Calvin Klein, and I pretty much just picked it up because it was shiny. Literally, sometimes that's all I think about. Overall, this is sewn really well. All the seams seem straight. There doesn't seem to be any weird puckering, though. There is a little pucker right here, actually. I don't know if you can really see it. It's just like a seam that's not completely straight. I'm a, I'm a crazy about that stuff, but the dress itself is just so sparkly. So hopefully that will actually look good on. We'll try it on in a second. I mean, other than being immediately ready to like direct traffic with sparkles, it's just not very exciting. And also this is weird, like it's not committing enough to it. Maybe if I was 100% bedazzled, then I'd be okay with it. But no, nah, it's not me. And for 112 bucks, nope. We have a cute kind of, um, what I really actually liked about this shirt and why I grabbed it, it's from Vince Camuto, I think I grabbed a 1X, is it has um, a box pleat in the back. And with a box pleat in the back, that means it's gonna have more room for my hips and butt, which means this is probably gonna fit me a lot better than a normal blue shirt would fit. The seaming and construction is quite nice. The fabric, where are you fabric tag? It's polyester, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because it feels nicer than polyester. Um, and I'm gonna give that a try. Nope. <laughs> Like party hands, you know? Cause I'm just so about the party. Incredible. Yeah. Party hands, party hands. It's from a brand called Mama Mama, which I've never heard of, but I'm obsessed with this shirt from a design perspective. Cause how adorable is that? There's not a lot of things that make me feel like I could be a Harajuku girl when I'm dressed up, but this is one of those shirts. So I just love that it has this nice little bow detail flow in the back and then with the stripe print, which I absolutely love. It's $13 on sale. So like that's pretty dang cheap. So who cares? It's made of rayon and spandex. So it's nothing special, but for $13, um, if it looks cute, I'm totally fine with it. Again, bow, stripe, bow, stripe, win. You've <laughs> oh. been bit by so many mosquitoes in here. I'm going to scream. Then we have another shirt from Moa Moa. It's a high-low cut and it's just in crazy magenta pink. I picked this up simply because I love the color. The cut may or may not work for me. I think I grabbed a 2X. 
the color and fabric, it doesn't feel great. I mean, given the other shirt, yeah, it's polyester again. So it's not anything that fancy, but it's a cute shirt. And if it looks good, it'll be great for going out. And I won't have to worry if I spill anything on it because it's not super expensive and it's, it's a little bit of a kind of a disposable thing. And again, it's also $13 on sale. So yay. The only thing I don't like is I feel weird about these bib things because I feel like I have a lot of hips and I like my hips and I like accentuating my hips, but this is like, hello, hips. <laughs> but I love the color. It really does suit me face-wise. So I grabbed this pair of pants and this is from Vince Camino. It looked, they looked really stretchy. So I think these should fit me. They're like, again, I don't know. I've never worn these brands, so I don't know. It's by Vince Camino. I just like the color and I just wanted to see how I fit in their pants so that in the future I would know how to purchase it. It looks fairly, you know, safe. I can tell it's really, really stretchy just because there is like someone's tried it on, it's stretched out, it's stretched back. So you can see kind of a little bit of that weird seaming that happens when you have a really, really stretchy denim pair of pants. Eh, it looks nice. It looks nice. We'll give it a go. Um, I just really want a white pair of shorts. So I saw these, they're from a brand called Democracy. And they, <laughs> they call these the Ab Solution. I don't know what that means, but I have a feeling that it's like, oh, it's featuring slimming panners, construction to mold and hold and boost your assets. Oh, why is why is like all of our clothing sold to like make us look smaller? It really bothers me. Not that I'm like trying to be fatter or thinner. It's just like you're, you're starting with the premise of purchasing a garment that you are not good enough and that you're trying to hide it. And that really bothers me. It's not even about like whether we should lose weight or should not. It's the fact that I am buying something that from the beginning is telling me I'm not good enough. And that bothers me. It should not be how you sell things to me. Just a thought. This just bothers me that these fit so well. They're advertised so poorly. Last pair of shorts are from Silver. They are really short. <laughs> it's tailored for a feminine frame. Uh, we'll see. And it's supposed to be at a flattering leg length, which I will throw out there. <laughs> I don't think super short shorts always look good on plus size women. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but on me they do not. These will probably look like a diaper. So it'll be funny for you guys. So we'll give that a go. <laughs> I'm so optimistic about all of these things. So this democracy brand, not big booty. <laughs> Like literally look, there is my underwear because it's like halfway up my butt. I, can, I don't want to force it. The weird thing is they fit my thighs, which is bizarre that they would make a pair of pants that are like big in the thighs and not in the butt. So I just finished shopping at Dillard's and it was depressing to say the least. I forgot why I don't shop in malls. I always thought it was just because I have more options online, which is true. But I didn't realize how like every single tag on every single piece of clothing that I tried on in an apartment store reminded me that I wasn't good enough. Um, I first saw it on two of the pieces I tried on and then I went looking for it and it was just kind of everywhere and it made me feel really icky. And I'm like, I'm shocked that this is a method for selling me things. Like why would brands sell me clothing that makes me feel inadequate, and, uh, <laughs> adequate from the get go? It was just not fun. Also, the Dillard's had mad mosquitoes. My legs are now covered in mosquito bites, so now I'm just bitter that my legs are itchy. And I got more bites in that dressing room and then I have gotten walking data outside in fields. So thanks Dillard's for the self-esteem check and uh, itchy legs. I don't think I'll try Dillard's again. I'll be really honest. So many of the brands are body shaming and frankly, I don't want to itch when I try and close. I'd rather just order stuff online and give it a go. Anyway, thanks everyone.